Hello everyone. How y'all do- how y'all doing out there? I hope y'all doing good. You know, staying safe and just staying alive. So how's everyone doing? You know? Consistency is still in the air and that's all I'm that's what I'm gonna say for right now, okay? I'm I get a little I get really excited because I'm seeing what's happening. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into that, but I'm excited, though. I'm a little happy, okay? Now, let me get the YouTube, the usual YouTube things out of the way now. So, you know, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm welcoming you with open arms, you know. Stay a while, you know. Kick back and enjoy. You you might you might enjoy my content, okay? I tend I talk about I talk about social topics as much as I can. I try to avoid politics as much as I can, but you know, if a political thing that happened jumps into the social realm, I could talk about it. And be comfortable enough to write down notes, I'll talk about it. Now, like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit that full point play for me. First part of the play is leaving a like. You know, just click on that like button down below. It don't cost you anything, and it helps me out a lot, okay? It, it don't cost you anything. All you gotta do is tap it on your phone or click on it with your computer, with your mouse, okay? Simple. <laughs> okay, and then, second part of the play is leaving a comment. Leave a comment down below, because it's the things that I talk about, you know, it could sway people, or it could bother people, or it could be something, you know, you agree with, or something like that, or, or disagree. No, I, I've come to that realization. Nobody, not everyone is gonna agree with everything that you say. Okay, and I welcome it too. Just leave it respectfully down in the comments below, okay? So I could, you know, answer back respectfully. I'll appreciate it, okay? Then, third part of the play is clicking that subscribe button, okay? Please, just click on that. You know, that's another thing. It don't cost you anything, you know? Just click on that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Like, it's funny. <laughs> Before I started my channel, I didn't realize how helpful leaving a like and a comment and, you know, subscribing was. But now that I'm, you know, jumping into this field, <laughs> I see why it's so important. N and then, fourth part of the play is clicking that notification bell, okay? Because I don't have a set schedule for my videos. I just upload when I can, okay? Four point play for me. Now, to this topic. Y'all ever have <laughs> that one friend, you know, that's just a question mark? Like, that one friend that just said, that says something... And you make that face, you know that. I'll put the emoji so y'all can see the face I'm making. Like, eh, you know, yeah, I don't think you should have said that, bro. <laughs> One of those type of things. Like, oh man, you you should have just kept that in your head. I but the thing is, and this this not in my notes. Sometimes, and I relate to this personally. You be wanting to say something, and then it hurts you not to. And then you would rather say it because the regret of not saying it is going to hurt you more. In that, in that case, I understand. <laughs> but this is one of those things. Like, oh, I don't know, bro. You shouldn't have, have said that, man. Well, you know, that friend's name is Meek Mill. <laughs> if you couldn't catch my trip of what I was saying, that, that person is Meek Mill. And I'm going to say something controversial later on, but... Yeah, I'm going to just save it for later on. Some people actually agree with me, though, in that regard. But, you know, it's controversial because it's going against the popular, like, popular reaction to what happened, to what he said. So, to what he actually said. I'll insert the clip, but it's going to be short, of course, to avoid copyright. But just, <laughs> just listen to it if you haven't heard it already or if you haven't seen it or... You know, if this is your first time being, you know, exposed to what Meek Mill said, just just listen, okay? And if I ever let like, I'm going out with my chop, it'd be another Kobe. Shit, I could tell that they ain't never know me. Cause if they knew me, they would have never showed me. And if Okay. <laughs> let me know what y'all think, man. Just if you wanna play it back, you can rewind and play it back. I can't I don't wanna insert it again just because, okay? Copyright. <laughs> And whatnot. So just let me know what y'all think because it caused a huge stir on the internet, internet, and understandably, like I understand why it did. You know what I mean? And it doesn't help that his the Kobe's one year anniversary of his passing was literally last month. 
it, it don't help that this that these lyrics leaked right now. <laughs> it don't help. I doubt Meek Mill leaked them himself, but whoever did, like if they in his, on his team or whatever, then they don't have the best interest at heart of, for him. You know, because people still dealing with the emotions of that situation. You know, so these this is like the worst possible time for lyrics like this to leak out. You know, because it's like yo, think about it, like. <laughs> think about it because this is this is me talking to meek mill like if he sent these lyrics out himself did you think this was a good idea like did you think this is this was going to be received well because meek i don't know i feel like from what i see on social media not even of him per se but just the response that he gets for a lot of the things that he do he's not liked <laughs> it is and, and i don't mean to laugh because it's not a good thing and it's not even haters because I, I know what I mean when I say he's not liked. I don't mean it because I think he has haters, which I know he does. But I'm just saying, people just, I don't know. They, they have a, it's a weird type of reaction he gets for a lot of the things that he does. And it's, I'm not talking about haters. I'm talking about people who, I guess, are indifferent to him. But they lean more towards uh, Meek Mill again. That kind of thing. They probably like his music. But it's the other type of stuff that he he gets involved with. That's not music related, but that's all beside the point. I wanted to mention that we shouldn't act like we shouldn't sh- we, we should not <laughs> act like these are the worst possible you know disrespectful lyrics ever heard, rap lyrics. Okay, and these are two examples. I I saw I have saw a picture on Facebook where I can't find it now. And I'm upset because it was perfect for this. But I looked it up and I'm going to insert that link down below of the 25, I guess, most disrespectful rap lyrics. These are just two examples that stood out to me. So, th- okay. So this is, okay. Beat the pussy up like I'm Emmett Till. That's from Lil Wayne. Or Lil Wayne. And Rick Ross said, Trayvon Martin, never missing my target. That's a pause for dramatic effect. Now, (laughs) both of these lyrics are referencing deceased black young men or young kids, however you want to categorize them. But for some reason, those did not get the same response or criticism same reception that this Kobe line that Meek Mill said did. Why do you think that is? Kobe meant a lot to a lot of people. It's not just, you know, your friend named Kobe. And no disrespect to anything, anybody like that. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody, but I'm just saying this is Kobe being Bryant. I don't even know that's literally his middle name, but I, I hear people say that and it just fit in this movie. This is the Black Mamba Kobe Bryant. From the Lakers. For a lyric like that, it would not be well received. And, like I said, coming off the one year anniversary, I mean, like, the emotions are still there. It would come off even more tasteless and more disrespectful and more impactful, even for that just one line that he said. You know? Now, if he was referencing someone from, like, the last generation or something like that, like that, you know, the a, you know that kind of thing, the B, C, and A, D type of errors in human history. Like, you know, people referring Joan of Arc or all those mythic, you know, all of those type of stuff. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Now, I know, I'm sure there's some people out there who would take this as a big deal, you know, if they study that type of stuff. But for Kobe, like, this is... Something that shouldn't have been said, man. And it's really unfortunate that it came out right now. You know, like I said, the one month anniversary, but still should not have been said either way. Or that's something you keep to like a circle of friends or something like that. Because you can't stop people from saying something like that. You can't stop people from saying things like that. He's a rapper. You know, you know, this is his art. This is how he will express it. But tasteless, disrespectful, because... Especially, or oh, even more, because of the one year anniversary. Now, people are saying that this generation is too emotional. 
which you know we people have been saying that for a while now. Now that could be for the people that didn't like Kobe, but I wanted to address that too because I agree. Uh, the internet has become snowflake territory. I, I I agree with that. I fully, full well believe that and agree with that sentiment. But in this case in particular, I don't I don't agree. Because that day, oh my god. I, I, I don't be wanting to bring it up, but it, it just happens. That day will I feel like honestly go down in history. Because for anyone that's had some type of feeling towards Kobe, they'll remember what ha- like they'll re- they probably will remember the feeling. They'll probably remember where they were when it happened, or when they found out the news. It'll go down in history, and this is why I said that those lyrics are more impactful. This is Kobe Bryant, man. He's impacted millions of people, literally. Maybe not even through physical contact. But just seeing him on the screen, just seeing, you know, the type of person he was on and off the court. That's why these lyrics are even worse. You know, even more impactful to people. That's Kobe, son. Come on, you can't, you can't, like, you can't say something like this and think it will be received well. I, I hope he didn't think it would, but I'm just saying. Now to the controversial part. I actually thought it the bar like I actually thought what he said was kind of all right. <laughs> I, I, I okay, disrespectful yes, tasteless yes, should have never been said yes. But for what it actually said, kind of all right in terms not all right as in it's okay for him to say it. All right, as in, like, okay, I see where you're going with that, man. <laughs> no, it's not one of those lines, you know, you, you know how people randomly just be saying rap lyrics and shit like that. It's not one of those. But it's one of those, like, if you listen into that song, if he releases it, which I doubt he will, you know, you just mindly, mind, mindlessly listening to it, you'll be like, oh, that's kind of hot. But then you realize he's talking about Kobe, and then you're like, ah, I don't like that no more. It's, it's one of those things. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's all I have to say on this topic. Me, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't have no neg- negative feelings towards him at all. He's just somebody. He's somebody, you know? So if you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. This is a rather, a rather short video, <laughs> you know? So I'm ending now. Thank you. More videos coming soon.